And we're live. All right. Chad, how are you? Doing great, man. Living the dream. Loving life. <laughs> Living the dream is right. Yeah, we were just uh, we were just chatting a little bit before we we jumped on here. And this is one of those stories that I, I think is unbelievable, honestly. It's like for me, we just made uh just made a move uh beginning of the year to EXP, and you're somebody that has been there. You you're like you're four now, right? Four years. Yep. Yep. Four years. Four years. A little change. Yep. And so I've been, I've been bouncing some stuff off you here, you know, this year, obviously there's some things like it's just a completely different mindset and model and way to do things. And even before this call, we're really like talking through like team approach and organization and things like that. So I really wanted to dive deep with you today and just kind of, I guess to start, take us through the journey. I right? love it. How'd you get yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so I started. I think it was like 2014. Halfway through that year, I was working with my daddy as a used car dealership, and I was a used car salesman. I mean, he's one of the worst salesmen I've ever met. He's a great buyer. He buys cars cheap, you know, but he's he's not the best salesman. <laughs> but uh, so, unfortunately, that didn't translate into into this. I, uh, but anyway, well, oh, that's that's how you get good on the buyer side, right? That's it. That's it. Uh, you know, he he showed me though. He showed me like honesty. He was always straight up with people. And, you know, that really, that really did help, I think, in a lot of aspects of what we've done, especially with uh, where we are now. But, but yeah, so I, I looked to real estate for me, it was like a cheap way to start a business. You know, I want to start some type of business at yep. thousand, two thousand bucks, you're in some classes. So I did it, um, sold a couple houses at uh, regional brokerage that year um, for, for a couple months, sold like three houses. When, uh, when did you start? What year did you start? Did you start? 2014. Yep. Okay. July. So like yeah. Yep. And then I did the math and I actually, I, we negotiated a 65% split at the time. That was, that was so, oh, you know, and I did the math and like, nah, this doesn't work. So we went over to Remax. We were there, um, did the 90, 10 split. It was a couple hundred a month. So it was like a big leap when you're a new agent to split, you know, a lot, not a lot of new agents will take on that big, you know, desk fee. Uh, but I did the math and I saw 10 deals and we made more money. So, and I said, if I can't sell 10 deals, I quit. So, um, in a year. So that second year we sold, uh, first full year, sorry, uh, sold 23 units. It was just me. Um, the year after that's where I started to take off though. I sold 60 that year. That's where we actually made the switch to EXP. So that would have been 2016. Um, but I really was just, just, um, just burning and churning, man. You know, it was good. And I, I looked at the 60 units and I, I I thought to myself, I'm like, I got real busy and I'm like, if family or friends come in right now, like a, a you know, a family a member of mine comes in to buy a house, I can't focus on them. There's no right. way. Like I'm, I can't focus on my kids, you know. Yeah, like, well, like out of the 60, how many of those buyers, how many of those listings would you say? Like I it was mean, heavy I'll, buy side. Yeah, heavy, heavy buy, buy side. Because that's a that's a lot of running. You're right. You know? Yeah, you're right. And that's uh I, I think that I didn't I didn't see that the benefits of the listing side early on. And there's I think listings, it's it's better obviously it's better for your time if you have the skill. It takes more skill. Buyers, it just takes more time. And I thought it was so easy to just say, hey, I'll just keep seeing houses with you. It's really stupid when you look back, but nonetheless, it's it's how I got there. And um, you know, but doing those 60 units, uh, I was like, this isn't the this isn't the life I want, you know, and, and I was, my wife just got her license through that year, starting to look at it. I'm like, I could pour more value out into people. Like I can crush it in sales. I can go to the 90 units. I can go to, I can, I can up the sales price over time. I can do that. I can build that solo business, right. but it's just me and the clients and that's it. I kind of wanted to have an impact too. I think it's somewhat been a hidden, I don't think I knew what I was doing at the time, but it's been something I wanted to do. Right. So I've joined this team. We did 80 units the first year. And I tell people all the time, that's a pay cut, you know, because I was going 60 at 100%. Now I go 80 and I got some split in 50-50. It was a pay cut, yep. to, but I knew where I wanted to be. So then we did 104 units, started to look more where I wanted it. Last year we did 120. Um, and this year we're out doing that. We're going to, I'm hoping, we'll see what we crack here. But, you know, now our sales prices and all that, our market is, you know, it's like a 150 average sales price, not very great, but but we, you know, we pull the units through. We have a very systems operations based. I think that's where we've really, uh, that's my my strong suit. You got to play to your mm -hmm. strengths. That's kind of why yeah, this really. work. Um, so yeah, I mean, um, it's it's been it's been a journey. It's been fun, you know. And that's that's kind of just the sales process. I mean, we yeah. we four years ago we um, we really just looked at ex. We we really just wanted to get away from the politics that were in our office. Right there was there was. 
we just didn't like the vibes. We um, we also um, were being semi, we, they wanted us to use their title and lender and stuff like that. And we had our own, we had our own partnerships. You know what I mean? It benefited the clients, benefited us. So, you know, we we, we just got agitated with all those scenarios and went looking and we, we found EXP at the time. Like, I, Yeah, how did you come across the EXP? Because I like four years ago, I don't, yeah. I don't even know that I like had heard of them. Like I have, yeah. sure I have, but it wasn't like something that was would have been on my radar. There was one agent, yeah, there, there, it was non-existent really. There was one agent I saw, I just somehow saw her name when I got licensed and I saw she was at EXP. Like she, she's not even there anymore. I don't think she's an agent anymore. But there was one agent that I did see there. So I saw it in my market in one spot and then really just searching. Like I'm very tech-based, internet, all Google, you know what I mean? Like I, I knew of the brokerage and I started looking at that. And we did look into real at the time too. We looked into that a little bit. I actually met with some of their leadership at the time and it's, it's a million dollar decision. It's just hilarious, but uh, you're, you're not kidding. <laughs> <I'm looking laughs> <for that. laughs> me, me and Brittany, me, we joke about it all the time. We really chose EXP at that time because their models were semi-similar when you look at commission structures. Uh, we chose it because of the name. We didn't want to say, you know, Oh, we're, we're at real, real estate or real real realtors real, it's too much real like it just it was like yeah. what yeah so <laughs> he chose it because of the name Very they had like 500 agents at the time exp had 800 at the time when we when we first looked you know and um you know we we just i like the model again now, i really joined on commission alone i saw the stock i saw the rev share my so thought process of cap structure the same then yep yep it was uh everything was the same the stock was actually 10 times better back then because it was so early on. I mean, mm -hmm. I think back, it's changed a lot, but I think back when we first started, if you recruited an agent who sold their one house, right now they could get $400 or so, so a couple hundred dollars of stock. Yep. Back then you got 750 shares. <laughs> it was unreal back. If I knew, you know, today, oh man, like not like we've had any problem as it is, but that yeah. would have been, it you was huge back then. You would probably, t you would have totally change the way that you did everything the last four years, right? Like you'd have, I mean, you'd have done a lot the same, but you'd have probably focused on certain, certain things differently as well. Like if you knew, like if you knew the stock was going to go from a dollar to $60 or something, you know, like what was the stock price when you, when you first started? Dollar $1.20. $1.20. Yeah, $1. Yep. And, and let, let everyone know, like, when do you get stock? at exp right there's like so this is something that's it, i think it's just confusing to some and even to me like when we came it was like well we know that just just based on split we're gonna we're gonna like have way more money we know we're gonna get some we're gonna, we're gonna get some stock back we'll hit icon we know that we'll get and we have the ability to, to earn revenue share which is the other stream of passive income but it's like and then the stock's kind of like all right we'll take we'll take some stock Right. Yep. For you, it's like it's a life changer. Literally. That's exactly it. No, it, 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 when I looked at it, like I said, like I joined because of commission. I saw the stock, and my main thought process was, you know, it, look, look, it's a virtual company, right? I mean, yeah, we have bricks and mortar in places, but it's still a virtual yep. company. The average age of a real estate agent is fifty-two. Not that age matters with technology, but it certainly it does sometimes. I did not think that regular real estate agents would get behind this model. I was like, I get it. I played video games growing up. You know, but they're mm -hmm. not. So that stock and that rev share element, just like you did, you know, we didn't care. We just looked at the commission. And when we people that joined today, we have joined them. They just look at the commission and it, it's a win right there. But that stock, over time, you just do what you're doing and it builds up. I mean, you get stock from selling one house per anniversary a year, from capping, you get it. You get stock from recruiting an agent. You get stock when you icon. If you sell about 35 to 40 units a year, you're an icon agent. You're crazy not to be here if you do the math. I mean, we've got an icon four times. We're about to hit our fifth icon. That's sixteen thousand dollars in cap back each year. Keep in mind that first year I got sixteen grand when it was like three bucks a share. I mean, it ain't it yeah, ain't sixteen grand anymore. Yeah, so basically, the, so the so the EXP um, cap is sixteen grand. So you pay you're on an eighty twenty split until you pay the company sixteen grand, and then you get a hundred percent from there on after. When you hit icon, they give you your sixteen grand back that you paid in the cap back in company stock, right? Yep. Which is vesting. And you gotta do a couple of things, cultural requirements, a couple of things like that, but you do those anyway. That's not really 
you know, it's an hour a month. You got to contribute. Like not, not a big, not a big deal. Yeah. But so, you know, realistically for somebody who's doing 35, 40 deals, depending on your price point, um, and an average price point in our market, at least Allegheny, like Allegheny County. I mean, if you're over 200,000, I mean, you're doing 35 deals, I think, uh, somewhere in that range, you're basically at a hundred percent, like a true hundred percent plus you get stock awards plus you get like first deal cap. Like, so literally like for, for, for people like us, I mean, when you're do, like, if you're doing transactions, you're literally, they're paying you to work here. Yep. Like you're not getting not giving them much like it breaks it breaks above a hundred percent well so and that's that it's the model speak the model is just genius they say it over and over but it is but what it is is i mean like we're as a top producer you're an influencer and or you're driving market share for that company i mean you know so that's why you'll see right now agents that are being recruited over to EXP, they're throwing everything they can at them because they don't want to lose what that agent's driving to the company. So for them to pay top producers or influencers kind of more than what they bring in, it's because they're bringing it other things in other ways through their vanity, you know what I mean? And they're more yeah. lean and able to offer that. Plus it's just equity in the company. It's not like they're actually, you know, paying them out. So, right. I mean, it's, it's been huge. I mean, people say, well, you know, it's 16 grand, but it's in stock. You're not actually, you know, it's not your money. Well, it's very real. I can tell you how real it is. We've experienced it. And um, it's, it realtors suck at saving, right? Like we're, we don't save for yeah. our taxes. <laughs> so if you're an icon agent, you can look at it as you're investing 16 grand a year. You'll get to touch it in three years. You know, the stock may be up or down from then. Who knows? But even if it's worth half, you're getting eight grand, 16 grand of your stock, your cap back. That you put away, you made an investment with it in a company that you hopefully believe in. Because if not, what are you doing? Yep. You know, and uh, it, it's great. And then we haven't even talked about the fact that you could put, you know, there's an option. It's not a requirement, but you could put five percent of your commissions uh, into the company stock at a ten percent discount. I mean, we've done that since we've started. Uh, that's why we're able to sit here and say what the stock gains have done for us. I mean, we, you know, if you make ten grand in a month, you take five hundred bucks off of your commissions, right? Yep. You buy stock, if it's 60 bucks a share like it is today, you get it at $54 a share. You know what I mean? It's your stock. There's no vesting period. I mean, it's, you know, 5%, you ain't going to feel that that much. And like we just said, agents suck at saving. So between right. the 5% and the um, the ICON program, it, it really builds you into good habits. You know what I mean? And you're not you're not even noticing that you're doing it because obviously realtors don't do that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, man. It's like, it, it's a total, um, it's a total change. Like it, it's a, it is a true wealth building strategy and company because, and it, it sounds cliche, but it's, but it's really not right. Cause when I, like you take that, like we do the same thing. We, you know, we put 5% in, you don't even see that. You don't even feel that you don't even notice it. And it's just, and then all of a sudden you go in and check out your stock account. You're like, holy shit. Like, look yeah. how much money we've, we put in there. Agents will not do that. You're always going to be on the transaction treadmill. And then when you throw in a revenue share, and then when you throw in the, like the vested stock awards, which at other companies, I've been in other companies, you've been in other companies, like you're getting a plaque and a pat on the ass. You know what I mean? Yep. Like here you're getting, you're getting 16 grand in stock, not to mention the additional stock awards and the revenue share. So they still send you that trophy. <laughs> they still send you the trophy and you still get the trophy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you get them both. Um, so do you, do you mind sharing how many, like what your stock looks like? Cause I, it's, it blows my mind, which is why I had to have you on like, and talk about it. Like, cause literally it's yeah. changed your life. Cause you're, where are you at now? You're in, uh, Florida. Yeah. Yeah. We, we just moved. Uh, I mean, I've always wanted to move to Florida. It was like where, I, but I figured we'd retire there when the girls get older, graduate high school, got two kids. Um, and we came down to actually recruit an agent down here a couple months ago and take a vacation while we were at it. And I just couldn't take it. I, I, I went after it. And honestly, we would never have been able to make that split term decision without the, the company. I mean, the, the fact that the stock is there for us to to buy a decent priced house very easily. 
the rev share, the residual income is there for us to, for me to relax a little bit about leaving my market. I left, I still run my team up there. We're still kicking, you know, some ass up there. It's doing great. We're selling 15 units a month roughly now. It's, it's, it's still doing great, but that's scary. You know, I'm running a team that I'm, you know, a thousand miles away, but you know, a while far away, but it, it, there's some, there's some relax uh, coming in the, play because I, I got other agents, you know, with, uh, with another team, so to speak, you know, building the rev share group. Um, but yeah, we, we made it like, you know, just a decision to just uh, come yeah, well, down, get a decision. Cause I remember I was talking to you and I, I called you about something else and you were like, did you, Oh, did you hear? I was like, hear what? Like, well, we're moving to Florida. <laughs> I'm like, just like that. And that was, uh, I think the one of them probably like two months ago. Yeah, dude, like July, end of July, we, we semi decided we flew down early August, like beat up the area. We, we went to every builder, every apartment complex, just mm -hmm. up and down where we wanted to be. It's three days straight, you know, left the kids at home with the sitter, come back up. We was like, we're doing it. You know, we listed the house mid August, sold it in five days. Um, and yeah, a month later we were, we were here, we were here in September and it's, uh, we just went under contract building the house. Um, and, and you know what? That was one of the things I said too. It was so much fun to sit there and build a house and not stress over the little things. And and I won't give credit where it's not due. Like I, I am uh, for me to say this about a company, it's like we bleed these company stuff here. You and I are talking about EXP Realty like, like crazy, right? Like, and, and other agents do it at, at all the you know all the other companies that we we see around. But they they just do it because they I don't know love the company they they want that brand they, they, I don't know we do it because we we get something out of it you know they reward us it's an agent centric company it's kind of always like built by agents for agents you know what I mean and we we live and breathe it because we truly get something back out of it financially and all, obviously all that other good stuff the culture all this, that's all there too I mean that's human nature that's what we do you know yeah. um, but we're sitting there in that builder appointment you know and. You want the tray ceiling here. You want this there. And we don't have to, you know, we don't have to compromise as much because we made a good decision and we put some money behind the company we believe in. You know, you believe in Berkshire or Remax or, you know, whatever, and you're not putting any money behind it. You're just getting your sales. That's it. You know what I mean? You have no stake in that company. That company can crash and burn in tomorrow and you'll sign your license somewhere else and that's it. Yep. Well, we get some, we get some of that top level stuff here and we benefited when when exp went from 1200 agents to 35,000 agents i felt that in my you know in my stock account when remax goes from 10,000 to 100,000 agents what do you have a slightly better listing presentation yet you'll go around and talk about how they're in x amount of countries and all this stuff guess what that doesn't matter to you you're not getting a buyer yeah. on your listing because remax is in china you know what i mean like I it's not happening Yep. But here we care. Like I care if VXP goes into other countries, which they just announced. You know what I mean? Because we own a piece of the pie. It's 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 awesome. <laughs> it's a totally different mindset. Yeah, I mean, it's you are an you are an owner of the company, right? Like you are. It is a you're an owner agent. It's like a it's like a player coach. Like back in the seventies, like you have a vested interest in the company doing well, so you have. Uh, you know, you have more of a incentive to help however you can, right? There's, I've, I've never seen it like this. And I was yeah. with, you know, I've been with some bigger, bigger brokerages and, you know, and even when I was in Florida, a couple and like, you know, somebody was talking about what they were doing, like the door, like they would close the door and whisper because they didn't want somebody else to know like a strategy. It was, yes. you know, you're working for the same company and you, and you like it. And you, and you love that, you know, you love that company and you might love that brand and you might, you know, you might like that better than somewhere else, but ultimately you're still competitors and yes. there's still some competition. Like, it's not like you don't go sure. up against somebody at our company, but there's just a, a different level of like camaraderie and an incentive to, cause everybody wants the company to do well because ultimately everybody does, does better, you know, yeah. financially. It's, 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 it's never been done. I mean, I think there, I forget who it was. It was, uh, one of the, one of the EXP agents was explaining it. You know I mean? They had the, you have the, the top company, the international company, right? Then you have the regions and then the franchise owners, and then you have this. And what EXP does is they just cut that all out and put the agents right up there. I exactly. mean, those people were revenue sharing. You know, we, we talk about the revenue share here. That's what they were doing. Those franchise owners, those region owners, those, the, the, they were getting a piece of all of our, I mean, we're, I'm an agent, right? I sell, I know yeah. what it's like. 
we work our tails off through them deals. I mean, we, we do, you know, we, we're, we're at the final walkthroughs, you know, trying to fix things if we need to, you know, we're doing everything we can to make sure that things go smooth for our clients. We do 99.9999% of that work. You know, you should get as much of that as possible throughout the model. And that's what this company does. It gives you, it gives you the ability to make that plus grow with that company. Just, but, but yeah, I mean, coming back to the culture, like you said, that is the number one thing that nobody nobody can explain it until you've seen it. It's it's right, just here. Yep. It sounds like we're just BSing you to get here. <laughs> but it's yeah, it's so different. It's just so different. I mean, you and I aren't technically aligned, you know, in any way. You know, we just have uh we we're, we're aligned in the company. We have we both have stock in the company. And yep. yet we, you know, we go at each other with our styles and stuff and our models like we, you know, we're hashing out because we, we want to see each other grow and do well because mm -hmm. we're aligned in a different way. It's it's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so I guess, I guess, where do you want to go next? Do you want to go like, because I want to talk a little bit about revenue share. Like, obviously, we touched, we touched on the stock. We've talked about the stock. I mean, that's, it's been huge for you. Obviously, stock goes up, it goes down. Right sure. now, it's it's up. It could continue, could continue to go up. You know, could could dip, whatever it is. But I mean, yep. it's literally, it's given you the freedom and the ability and the backing and 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 essentially the savings where you just can. You're thinking about retirement. Most people think about retirement. They think about retirement. When I'm 62, you know, I'll retire. You know, it's it's literally in four years, given the giving the ability to. <laughs> semi-retire with it's crazy yeah, yeah. to know that you'll still be okay not that you're retiring it's just yeah. it's given you the ability to live the life you want to live in another state and build a team down there because you enjoy it and you don't have the absolute pressure where it's like i need another Sell. deal i need another Sell deal. or die deal. right Sell or die right <laughs> exactly. and i think and I, and I guess that segues into man like what does uh you know, how's the revenue share um, been for you? Like, what's what's that look like? I mean, obviously, you don't have to get into numbers, but like, obviously, that gives you some passive and some additional monthly income that covers really what you whatever you want wanted to cover, right? Yeah, I mean, so revenue share, it, like I said, with stock and revenue share, you don't you don't get it up front. Anybody that's looking at the XP, they they, they kind of get it, but you just it's, it's like you don't get it until you get it. Everybody has that moment at a different time. For me, it was two years in. It took me two years in to understand what this company was, what it was about. Mm -hmm. So that's where I started the kind of rev share thing. I started to, I don't really call agents. I mean, I might call five to 10 a year. I'm terrible. I should, you know, reach out to a few more than I know. But generally speaking, I've just gotten those warm connections. People you do a deal with, our team members, you know, that things. And it's now growing a lot because we, um, the people we've recruited are, are have warm connections as well. Like, like yeah. it should do. And, you know, it's once organic. I hit that, what's that? Organic growth. Exactly. It, it, it's really the best way too. people think that there's some magic formula for it. it. It's, it's not, I mean, you look at the big recruiters at EXP, it's, it, it was organic growth, you know, they knew people. Um, but you know, I mean, it's, um, once you hit about 10 people yourself, um, in your like your first little layer, that's where it really starts to take off. And we're starting to grow without me now, and it, and I'm just having so much fun with it. I, we went to Top Golf with an agent we recruited uh, last week, and you know it's it's just so much more fun to be having these conversations with people in the same solving similar problems to you. They're in the same boat, and you just you got this like group together, like your little tribe. You know what I mean? Like you do it probably at your current office or from the conferences you go to, you have some type of a tribe like that. Now the difference is you get to align together, make money together and grow it together. Um, just by just partnering up here, it's, it's a blast. So um, it, it enabled, it, it basically turned me on to a new team. You know what I mean? Like I, I built a team. That's what I was doing. And all of a sudden in the last six months to a year, we're realizing, Hey, there's kind of another team option here. You know what I mean? It's like a secondary thing and it takes way less um you know there, there's there's way less investment you know there's not this big monthly ad spend there's way less um training because a lot of them know what they're doing if they're they're capping or if they're producing um it's just way more fun it, it, it's like a group of like-minded people just collaborating together all the time it's awesome you know? yeah and, and the possibilities are are 
are somewhat endless and I, and I don't, and they're not necessarily endless, but there, there are a number of different ways that you can, you can work that kind of system, right? Like you can, you know, if you're growing your team, um, which you and I both know about, I mean, it, there's, there's pain points, there's struggles, there's, you know, the, everything that comes with it. You have that. Um, if you, you know, you have an option to go with a different model where, you know, really you're like you're sharing leads or maybe you're just uh, like adding a lead source for somebody in a different market, which you do. Um, or you might be the person that really is just like a, like a great coach and can help people um, to, to further their business. So they, you know, they add people to their organization. They maybe not aren't selling that much or you can still just come to the company and you can just sell and you'll still, you know, make more money than, than you will most places in most scenario, almost every scenario, but in, in most scenarios, but like there's, there's just a lot of different avenues that you could take revenue share, um, do a little, do a lot, do like half, like build a team through it, build a brokerage through that. Something we, we haven't talked about. I mean, you know, you have a branch office. Yep. You, you wouldn't, you would have had to have gone through, uh, the bro. Uh, do you have your broker's license? Nope. No interest. <laughs> no, don't need it because you don't have the liability. You don't have the payroll. You don't have any of the issues that you have as a broker. So we, we talked this out. Like I was going to, I was going to do that. Right. Thank, thanks something. I did not, but about two, two, three years ago, we were going to do that. I was uh, looking with a, another, uh, I was going to partner up with somebody and go independent. It, we did the math, you know, and at least with our commission split and our, our, you know, paying an admin, our net profit per agent, loosely speaking, was going to be around five grand per agent. That was what I had figured out through a lot of spreadsheets. And I look at it and I'm like, obviously it's a little less, it's around two to three grand per agent, give or take with the rev share, whatever, figure your numbers out. But it, but I don't have the liability. There's some people you do not want to be liable for, you know, running yeah. around with your brokerage name. Think about the fact that you can recruit any, like I have agents in Florida, California, New York, Texas, obviously PA, you know, that's, you can't do that with an independent. I wouldn't be able to, to you know, have that. And, and it's not so much about making money off them. It's really to have that opportunity to, to partner with them and plug into them. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's an opportunity to grow together with people and like get on the same team. You know what I mean? Like come on to my team here, <laughs> you know? Yeah, um, no. Yeah, I think a lot of I think that 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 a lot of agents they they feel like they're on an island, you know, at some brokerages. Like, don't know where to don't know where to go, don't know how to get leads, don't know how to get buyers, don't know how to get sellers. You know, you know they've been through the you know the the brokerage training till they're blue in the face about writing a contract, but that if you don't have anybody to work with, it really doesn't matter at the end of the day. So it's like having the ability to partner with people doesn't really. It, it's it removed all of the borders and barriers that you ultimately would have had at a standard brokerage anywhere else. Right. Well, those top level agents aren't going to talk with the relatively speaking, lower level agents generally, unless they're finding a way to make money off them is really what it is. And so when you're at your regular brokerages, you're stuck with that broker training. But, and, and let's be real. If there's, if they've done well in real estate and are making money doing it, they're probably out there doing it. They're probably not doing that training class or that, you know, whatever. So when you're hitting these trainings at this brokerage, it's more just how to do this and how to be compliant from some salary or paid person who couldn't hack it themselves in the business. No, no, whatever. It just is what it is, but they're the ones doing the training here. Yeah it gives you the ability to, to partner up with people who are solving similar problems as you or bigger problems as you raising ceilings. You know what I mean? Plus with the stock element, you have people outside your little team that are pouring value into the company to raise the, the production of that company to keep the stock going north. It's, it's, it's just one big financial alignment model to succeed together, like a cohesive unit. It's, yeah, and I, I can't think of like a better example of that is like when, when uh, we were going through COVID. It's like, well, who's who's doing what? Like immediately, like immediately, our group, like our uh, our group, is tapping into like some of the biggest agents in the nation, doing 400, 500. Like, like, what are they doing? How are they handling this? What's the, like literally within like a week? You had what's the script? Here's the script. Here's how you're. Here's how you should be talking to people. Here's what you need to know. Here's how you protect yourself. Here's how you do a virtual. Like it's just like you had all that within minutes because literally, you, like 
everybody's willing to share exactly what they're doing. You're tying into the, you're tying into some of the, some of the big dogs in the industry. And it's like, you just, you just collaborate so much quicker and faster and everybody grows and does, a, does better because of that. You know, it's absolutely, it. I mean, it, it's well, especially with workplace. I mean, cause p- people know how to use Facebook. So when we have workplace, it just makes sense. It's so easy. But I mean, I was, I was considering an ISA company, you know, and what do you want to do? You want to ask other agents what they think, you know, I mean, that's what you do. And obviously I did that too, but I literally searched in workplace, the name of the company, and I got it filtered through people's comments, their posts. So I got like agents opinions. I got like, I, I crowdsourced 30,000 agent opinions by just searching the name of that ISA company through workplace. Yep. It, 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 you know, it's, it's all an agent's poor in there. I mean, I, I always say when we first joined like four years ago, I was a different person. This, per, this place has changed me personally too. Sure. But you know, I told Brittany like that we come into a training and, and these people were just pouring out their models. I'm like, look at this. They're like, they're pouring out their trade secrets here. Let's steal this shit and run. Yeah. Yeah, take it before they take it away. <laughs> <laughs> but what I learned was it, when you lead with contribution, you get it. It's, it changed me. You know, you, you get it back, but, um, uh, but but still, the I, I've talked to plenty of people who go to some of these conferences with other brokers, you know, and they won't tell them like the teams, like they won't tell them their team splits or their models or where they get their business. So they're you know they give them a piece of the the pot. They won't give, the they won't give you the the secret sauce behind the, you know, that's really making everything thing function. Yeah, explain yeah. workplace too. Um, yes, I mean. You got Facebook and you got Facebook Messenger, right? You got Workplace, which is the equivalent of Facebook and Workplace Chat, the equivalent of uh, Facebook Messenger. It's the exact same thing. It's made by Facebook. I don't know why every company in the world doesn't do this in terms of real estate, at least. (laughs) But uh, yeah, I mean, you just, you got your different groups, right? You got your Pennsylvania State group for us, you know, or I come down into Florida, man, I'm, I'm already in the group and there's contract trainings going on and I'm learning from, they stream them live, like, like we're Facebook live, they stream them in there for you. Um, it, it just enables you to advance your knowledge so quickly. Let's say you want to work for sale by owners. You type in FISBO in that search bar, there's a FISBO scripts and objection group. It has 3,500 members in it. You got people in there saying what scripts are doing, what's working. The, I love the listing presentations group. There's an EXP listing presentations group. And I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll do this challenge a little bit more publicly here if there's any agents watching. I always do this when I'm talking with agents. But uh, you go into an EXP listing presentations group. You look in there, there's over a thousand listing presentations in there. People's PDFs, PowerPoints, videos, you name it. I challenge you to go to your current brokerage, ask everybody for their listing presentations. Let me know how many you get. And if you get more than a thousand, hit me up. I might join. Because <laughs> uh, it's just yeah. not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, honestly, too, I mean, I think it's, uh, that's one of the big things, too, like like support-wise. Yeah. yeah, like you have an answer in seconds. Like you could go into the world which is the cloud-based brokerage um, or workplace. If you're in your state group and you have a contract question, you put it in there and you got five, 10 responses, like usually within minutes, if not an hour, you know, you have your broker, like it's just a, it's just a way more efficient way to, way to uh, handle business as opposed to you've got to go to the office. You got to find time with your broker. Somebody's like literally here. It's like, bang, bang, bang. Everything's just done at such a, such a faster rate of speed and you get answers to your problems that much quick. And you would think it would be the opposite. Yeah. You get that question all the time. Well, is any, well, then where's the support? Who do I, who do I talk to when I have a contract question? I don't have my cheerleader there for me. Yeah. It's like, well, you'll have to answer like almost immediately, usually. Yeah. 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 And and, and that's when, what I love about that so much, I love that because like, I've, I've made posts myself in there and you're not, I don't find real estate to be black and white. I find it gray. You ask five different people, the same question and you get five different answers. Yeah. You're going to get different. Yeah. You're in a different result. And what I love is when you get, you talk about all those comments. I mean, it's easy. You're not getting, there's 10, 20 comments on everything you post. You're getting a top producer, right? You're getting a team leader answer. You're getting, I call them contract Nazis, people that love contracts. You, some, some places there's attorneys who are also agents that are in there. You're getting previous people who own brokerages, their own independence. You're getting your own broker in your state. You're getting five to 10 different opinions on everything you post in there. I mean, that is, that's, that's some power. And I, I always say, I wish I had that when I first started, cause I just went all on YouTube. You know what I mean? I'd YouTube everything. I think I went and researched every free piece of real estate, you know, info yeah. there was on YouTube. 
but this is like it on steroids. There's way more info in there than you will ever have time to get to, but it's, it's what you need. It's efficient. Like you said, um, yeah. it's awesome. Yeah. No, it's, no, dude, I think, um, it's, it is crazy. Like, and I give you a lot of credit because you were like almost one of the pioneers of EXP, so to speak. I mean, there, obviously there were people before you, but not a lot. <laughs> you know, not, not a lot in this area. Like, you, you know, I think I said this to you guys when the stock jumped up and I realized that how many shares you guys have. And I'm like, you guys were playing chess and everybody else. <laughs> Was sitting there playing checkers at our brokerages, just just running our normal business, which a lot of people are just going to continue to do, and you just be in that rat race forever. You know, it's 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 a it's a just a it's it's crazy when you really think about it, and you really kind of see like imagine what ha what would have happened if you'd have, you'd have stayed at and stayed at another brokerage or been in an independent brokerage right now, like oh. Can't how, I would you know how much different your life would be. Those are my nightmares. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, no, and, and it's funny because like, look, there's this real, especially in our mar in the in the Pittsburgh market, there's this there's this like ego driven real estate game going on. There's just there's this thing, okay. And it's fun. First of all, there's there's a great quote. You know, how many success stories su success stories do you have to see to you know finally get it's real? But if you haven't taken a true look at this model, if you haven't heard enough success stories, like you, you're disservicing yourself. You need to. But but what it is, and I think hold on, my ADD is going to get me here, man. It's okay. Uh, it happens. I had a point. I had a point. What were we talking about? We're talking about stock. No, you were just saying sometimes it's the it's the ego game where it's like oh, you know, you God, there it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm back there it is all right so you know you you have agents like us you know saying hey come join us do this and that or you have a lot of exp agents like we make money recruiting right so you, you see that everywhere and you you know there's agents that i've met with a year or two ago that are like huh, i didn't join chad ha 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 you know listen like it, it, a capper is like three grand a year. That, that's it, it's great. It's I love to partner with anybody. I'm sure Matt would like. We love that. Yeah. We want to grow together. We want to have fun with people. We want to we want to grow with together. That we like. You're the one shirting yourself. That's there's agents I talked with two years ago that would have a couple hundred thousand dollars in stock that, that they made that decision. So if yeah. you can think it's hurting us all you want by saying no or by not looking. You know, getting excited that you got to tell us no. You're disservicing yourself. You need to take a look at it if you haven't. You need to do it very seriously. You know, if you make your decision from there, it is what it is. But we we've said a hundred times it's just a conversation. You know what I mean? Like we're not this paid corporate w-2 employee where we have to make a metric every month to stay hired now we we're here to help grow with other people and it's yeah. gonna it's like a pay raise 90 percent of the time when you look at it you know what i mean like, it, is, it is man and, it, and it's one of those things like i think you have to be open-minded if you're open-minded and you listen to it and you actually do some research on it you just realize you just realize it's just it just can't you can't touch it I mean, you really can't. And it's and I was the same way. We were we were very close minded at first, and it was like ah nah not for us. Really happy where we're at. And and I found that too. A lot of people that come they were they were very happy. Sure, where they were at, and wouldn't have left, but they just found that there is just a better mousetrap here. There is a better model. And there's no way that you can, if you like, unless you just absolutely love showing houses, like, and the, for the rest of your life, you want to be in a car driving around looking at houses with no, you know, really no exit plan, no strategy for passive income and retirement. Like, cause there are a lot of real estate agents like that out there. And I just, I just knew that I did not want to be one of them where yep. this was like, there was no future. Right. Um, and unless you want to be like, you need to be looking at it, especially if you're, if you're a brand new agent, like my Lord, imagine if like when, when, like if I, when I first started out, I, I went to EXP and I have 10 years in real estate building stock, building like, I would be in such a different spot. And it's just like the same with you. Like imagine if you didn't come four years ago, like, and you're yeah. just starting now. It's like, it, it, what is that? I forget that quote. It's like, when is the, you know, when's the best time to start or when's this? And then when's the, 
when's the second best time? When's the best time to start yesterday? When's the second best time to start today? Like you yes. wish you would have you would have started a year ago, but you didn't. So that's okay. But in three years from now, you're gonna be wishing that you did because ultimately there just isn't another there just I'm I'm so confident in it that there just isn't a better solution. There isn't. I know there's been never been an opportunity like this in real estate for the regular agents. Like there's been opportunity right. for maybe the top producers or maybe the franchise owners or this, the region owners, but there's never been an opportunity like this for somebody who sells 20 houses a year. There, this is an opportunity right now. You're going to park your license at a place for the next 10 years. This is going to build you something that you can, you can, you know, have, have some other choices with, you know, you're, I'm not, like you said, I'm not being 80 years old with a cane going up and showing a house. I right. Even, like right. I love my clients. We, I, I've had a blast selling houses. I've made some great connections and I'm still going to continue to do that. Cause I, 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 I always be an agent. I love it, but I'm not going to be 80 <laughs> with a cane. Yeah. Um, Can you imagine like, you know, yeah, you, you, you know, you're sh still having to chase down a transaction like every year you've got a, or every month, you, every month you start over again like you right if you're not if you're not building something every month every month back to zero back to zero back to zero i mean and i've been in it long enough where it gets you, you burn out man you get it that stuff gets old fast like you really have to you know you really have to sit down and look at this like like what does my future look like Right. Who are you building it for? Right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. are you building somebody else's or are you building your own? You know what I mean? And especially the team teams and team leaders out there. I mean, they, boy, their brokers are getting you right because you're training their future products. You know what I mean? Here, yep. yeah, when our team members and we've said this, both you and I have said this, you know, they, when, when they're ready to spread their wings and fly, whenever that time is right, you know, we're going to encourage that because right. we're aligned together. You know what I mean? If I'd have built this thing where I was, Oh man, I would, I would have, I was doing some things wrong, so to speak. You know I mean? Um, yep. My model, if I'd have built this at any other brokerage, I would be chasing every day. Like you said, reset back to zero, you know, revolving door, team members coming in, coming out because we provided value for them and leads and systems, but they outgrew that and found their own leads and systems. Right. Yep. So now you have a spot where, okay, it still benefits me to take them to that next level. You know, and it's not just benefiting that broker. I'm not building that broker or that brand's future. I'm building my future, or you know, you're building your future. Exactly, and the and the people that you're with, right? Like, as as somebody as a team member, like the opportunity, yes, is now endless. Where before it's not, right? Like you still kind of like, you know, you still you still got to chase every transaction. There's no there's no chance to build future. There's no like you can you know like a team member uh, on a team can build the same revenue share line as a, as a team leader. It doesn't matter. You can, you can build the same future there. You can build the same stock. You can build like, you have the opportunity to like, you know, actually create wealth, create passive income, help, you know, like pay for your house, pay for like, there's just, it, it, it's endless for everybody. And that's where I think the alignment comes in because before that it's, you know, you got you've got somebody that that you're working with that you're on your team, and they're either going to get really good and leave you, or you know, or they're just going to kind of stay there forever, or it's just like it's not going to work, and and they're gonna they're gonna quit because it's just the transactional treadmill. Now it's like there is there are other paths. It doesn't matter who you are, and we have the same conversation now. It's like, well, you've got to do this because ultimately you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna want to leave me soon, and I'm gonna help you grow your team. Right. Like, I don't care anymore. Before it's they leave your team and now now you're direct competition. Now, it's not like that anymore. Now you're trying to grow people to build, you know, your tree out. Other people underneath you that are growing their, you know, the, their model. And it's just it's not like that anywhere else it's, that I've seen, at least. And I've all, and I, I've said, so honestly, like, you know, we, I mean, hell, we talk about the post, you know, a million dollars of stock, you know, stuff like that. Honestly, I, and I said this to Brittany a few times. I mean, one of the best things about our like we we made this huge money in stock we didn't make it off the backs of other agents so to speak they got rewarded for making that decision i i mean i know agents in our group that have been here a short time they have 10 20 grand i have agents that have been here two three years they got 50 75 grand i got an agent i'm you know he's, he sells four million or so he's got 75 grand in stock you know i didn't 
you know, make my money by taking other people's money. You know, it's they're rewarded just like we are. Um, it, it, you know, it's just it's stupid good. I mean, it's funny because we, you know, you and I, we we have two teams that produce at a very high level, and we people think we just sit here and talk about EXP and so we're blue in the face like this is like, like no, we we have conversations about lead gen about all this stuff, but we get so excited about this because we never there's no opportunity like this. People just don't get how great of an opportunity yeah. this is. I mean, that's why we shift from talking about buyer leads and, and cold calls and all this stuff to yeah. Um, to, to, to so like, what's our future look like? <laughs> what, are, what, are our what, what, does, what does our family's future look like? In your case, it's like game changer, boom, house sold, moving to Florida, starting a team there, have no stress, you know, can, can go whatever direction you want, be happy with it. You're building your business that makes you happy, serves you, serves your family, as opposed to, man, it's it's just serving somebody else and you're just – Again, like you're, you're just every day you're out there on the hunt. It's just, I mean, I think, uh, you know, I think it, obviously I think that's just, it's like to summarize it all. It's like, it just allows you to create the business that you want and the life that you want, as opposed to just being another real estate agent. That's always on that, on that treadmill. And, and the fun part about it is, I mean, cause obviously it takes, a, it takes, a, especially for the people that have joined so much, so, uh, pretty much to date, it takes somewhat of an entrepreneurial mindset to, to get that. I mean, because not all agents, unfortunately, operate as an entrepreneur type mindset. They're right. more employee mindset and we're, you know, as opposed to a business owner. But what's so cool is this culture of agents. That, one of the biggest things I love is they're they're always thinking about, is there a better way or, you know, is there an end to this or how do I better serve my clients or how do I set up, mm -hmm. you know, this smooth transaction in a complex process? You know what I mean? And it's Yep. That's been huge too. We talk about the money, we talk about the opportunity, all this stuff. But when I'm collaborating with these agents in here, we get so much more value towards our system for our clients or our, you know, our vendors or just all this stuff because of the collaborative nature of entrepreneurial minded agents. It's awesome. Um, yep, it is. It, it, you're, you're partnering with some people at EXP that have, have thought it, they, they, they're entrepreneurs, you know what I mean? They really, they think outside the box. I mean, who knows what that'll look like in 10 years as everybody starts joining here. We'll get the employee mindsets too, and that's fine. We'll, we'll welcome you in and we'll we'll get you thinking the right way. But, uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know, it's, um, it's, it's a fun group. I mean, I always tell people, we go to these conferences and I can't wait for them to come back. I mean, it's, I, it sucks not having I know, them. right? Yeah, it's been a, yeah. It's been but, a crazy, crazy ride here with here, but eventually it has. we'll get back to school, yeah. It has, but uh, but it's it's so like we have a group like twenty people who we're not aligned with in terms of that rep share in any way, but they're just a blast. We collaborate, we network with them, you know. We I'm not that type of person. I'm not I'm not this like big networking guy. But we go, we have a group of twenty solid EXP agents that we meet with at every conference. We like to we like to have a good time, and we 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 bounce ideas back off each other. It's just a fun group. I mean, the culture here you cannot say it enough. Um, everybody's having fun. You know what I mean? This is like the most fun that I think you can possibly have in real estate. It's, uh, you're it's right. A blast. You are right, man. I think that, uh, I think that's a good, that's a good way to wrap it. I appreciate, um, man, I appreciate you coming on. I appreciate the time. I appreciate you, uh, telling your story because I think it's, um, I think it's, I mean, I think it's eye opening. you know, I know when, when I started digging in, I was like, Holy shit, man! I, man, I wish I wish we would have made <laughs> made that move a lot sooner. But I'm happy we're here, and I'm happy we did it when we did it. You know, so if I, uh, yeah, I mean, if you're looking for something different, if you're looking for, you know, you're looking to build your future, if you're looking down the road to retirement, if you're burned out, you know, talk to us. Uh, you know, we can give you all the information. Um, you know, we can ex we can explain how everything works. Sometimes you just got to take that uh, leap of faith, man, and, and pull the Band-Aid off and know that there's a there's a better mousetrap out there, right? Hell yeah, definitely. Yeah, you got to gotta reach out, you know, whether it's me or Matt, we, you know, we, we can, uh, Matt's got a killer group over there. I love, I love everybody you're, you're, you're partnering with, man. It's great stuff. Uh, yeah, love, love watching you grow, love growing it here, man. We, uh, five years is going to be, the next five years is going to be just as fun as this five years was where, we're, where we are now. Yeah, we'll, we'll catch back up here uh, in, the, in the near future here and see how things are going down in Florida, man. Sounds good. I appreciate right. the, you letting me come on here and we'll talk to you soon, man. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, guys. Thanks for yep. tuning in.